is up guys look I have had the hardest time in my life trying to find a mount for this freaking car I struggled in my old car and it had like a huge dash and then I finally found one that was working and literally the day I installed it we got rear ended my car got totaled and it wouldn't re fucking stick into this car <laughs> And then I just struggled really hard putting this one up. And if you've watched my vlog, God, if you've watched my vlogs for a while, my original mount stuck to my windshield and it was like a suction cup and it was all bajiggity. And then I got the dash one and it didn't shake. I can't find a dash one small enough to go in this car because my dash and my windshield are like literally that far apart. So now we're back to a windshield one. I thought, We've already done a little bit of Christmas shopping slash Christmas decor shopping, but I thought it would be fun to take you guys with me. James gets off in about two hours. This road. Um, James gets off in like two hours. It's about three o'clock right now. Oh my God. And he's gonna meet Ellie and I at Walmart. I went to Walmart last night. I spent $300. But I got a ton of Christmas stuff. I bought our first ever Christmas tree because if you, hi highlight, if you know me in real life or if you've like, God, this is so shaky. If you know me in real life or if you've like, I don't know, paid attention, I guess. Uh, James and I, neither one are very big on holidays like at all probably since I was about 11 or 12 I've not liked the holidays I don't like Christmas I don't like Thanksgiving I like Halloween that's it and we have a kid now this year we actually had her last year on the 23rd but you know she was like two days old she didn't know but now that we have a kid we have to like decorate and get to the holidays so I had to buy our first Christmas tree last night and ornaments and all that we are going back to Walmart tonight because my new car is compact. It is super small. Like, I feel like if you went from like a convertible or like a two door to this, you'd think you'd have so much room. But for, I downsized to this, so it is tiny. I can't fit shit in here. Um, but yeah, so James, me and Ellie are gonna go back to Walmart see if I can't find some like the rest of what I'm needing and if you didn't know I work in a long-term care facility a nursing home whatever you want to call it and we do a Christmas tree kind of thing every year where you pick a resident and you buy them Christmas and I they don't start it until December but <laughs> I like called and talked to activities and I was like listen I want this this person I'm buying their Christmas, put my name down, and while you're at it, go tell me what size clothes they wear because she needs clothes. So, we have to find her stuff. We are going to go shopping some more. We've only been to Big Lots so far today, and I just got like a few, well you'll see them at the end of the video. I just got a few like little things, a few things for Ellie. I actually went to Big Lots to see if they had our recliner. Yeah, so my point is I haven't been able to vlog comfortably in my car because I don't feel comfortable like holding everything up while I'm trying to drive, especially not when Ellie's in the back. We have a mount. Even though this isn't really a vlog, this is like a shop with us kind of situation. But we're gonna get gas, we're gonna go to the mall, pay for her party, and then we're gonna go in Burks, and then we're gonna head uptown to the Walmart but I will check back in with you guys later if you enjoy the video while you're watching make sure you give it a big old giant thumbs up and subscribe to my channel uh, we actually just closed my 200 subscriber giveaway yesterday I you know got the giveaway out it was very fun I love doing giveaways and I've already started getting stuff for my 300 subscriber giveaway because when I'm filming this I'm like like 260 or something so I've already started accumulating stuff for my 300 subscriber giveaway. So subscribe to my channel. You could win a giveaway. 
it'd be lots of fun. So, yeah. I'm going to stop rambling. This is already a 10 minute intro. <laughs> oh, let's see how much I cut this down because we're at 10 minutes already. All right, so we're starting out in Burks, just like I said, and I'm just really doing an overview. I'm having a lot of problems finding Christmas decorations that are in my style because I'm much more of a glam, modern Christmas, and right now all that's popular is farmhouse. But I am showing everything that I could find in the store. I'm giving you a little sneak peek of gifts and a little Sharpa I found. So there's really cute little figurines and I love these stocking holders, but they only had two and I'm in a family of three. I could not for the life of me find a third one, but they were $7.99 and they were so stinking cute and super, super heavy. So there's that. There's cute little silver accents everywhere, but the majority of the decorations in Burks are the farmhouse. That is not really my style. So they have a lot of little knickknacks like this and signs and cute little tabletop decor. And then they do have ornaments and stuff. This little deer was so cute and he was only, I think like $10. And I was going to pick him up, but then I noticed all the glitter that had been falling off of him. So I didn't want to bring home that mess. They have a big selection of ornaments, like single ornaments you could buy. They have such cute stuff. And I don't know why I really liked this angel. It is super tall and you can see there's a silver Santa behind her super cute and I think yeah she was 20 bucks which eh not terrible they have a lot of kitchen stuff as well like towel sets and things like that and then I don't know if you saw it they have bigger like yard things this Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus mugs mug set was so cute I think it was like $20 or something I was gonna get it but James and I have a ton of coffee cups that we rarely drink out of so I held back from it if you guys want to see anything that I actually purchased from Burks or Walmart today, I'm going to be doing a Christmas decor haul on my channel as well. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. And if you subscribe, you, you know, can keep up with my giveaways I'm doing. These throw blankets were so stinking cute and very soft, but I already have a Christmas throw. That sign is super cute. See, most of this stuff is rustic. And not a lot of it is more modern and glam, but it's I. They have cute little bags and tree skirts. I was looking at these little tea light candle holders. They had three different sizes, and they were super cute. But I didn't. I don't. I don't know where I, I would put them, so I didn't get them. sign it's so cute it says Merry Christmas and it was metal which is super weird it was very heavy super cute and like I said most of this is farmhouse so if that's more your style definitely check out Burks because they have a lot of good deals right now this crystal bowl was like screaming <laughs> my name but I I could not get it and mm, I've bought way too much stuff as it is this candle holder is so cute and it's six dollars so if you have a Burks anywhere around you and you haven't ever checked it out, definitely recommend it. It's so nice in there. It's like a Marshalls, TJ Maxx kind of situation. They do have um, Christmas pajamas. I don't know why I didn't show them. And then they have these larger signs for outside or I guess like wall decor. And behind that Noel Farms sign, they have this 25 Days of Christmas. I really liked it. It's like a bucket list, but... It was a little rusticky, so I didn't get it. And it was only $15, so. And then this is so cute. It's a little cookie and milk jug for a Santa set. Super cute. All right, so we're about to go over speed bumps, and I'm super sorry. Oh, I really thought there was a speed bump right there. <laughs> that shows you how much I pay attention. Does that help or hurt? I know that hurts. So, we are leaving my mall. 
and I only got to go into one store uh, and it got colder than shit and I found one of these Sherpa pullovers which I've been wanting one of these but I didn't want like a pink one or anything I wanted like a gray or a black one and I finally found a gray one that was in my size so that happened we got lots of goodies we got lots of decorations we got a few gifts for people I did buy the Sherpa in Burks and it's gotten dumb cold and Ellie's like all bundled up she's wearing long sleeves and a jacket <sighs> but mama was just wearing a t-shirt so she bought this Sherpa and now we're on our way to Walmart to Christmas shop I think I'm gonna just do this as like a shop with me and then I'm gonna do a Christmas day core haul and I've been watching a ton of these and I've always been told that like I've always been taught that Christmas decorations go up on December 1st and then come down on New Year's Day but I'm gonna put mine up a little early like literally like two days early because Thanksgiving is so late this year but I just want to be able to film and decorate with me and I want it to like you know go up <laughs> so I'm gonna be decorating early but I, I've been watching a ton of these videos and I think, not to like toot my own horn, but I think mine will be a, a little different than most people's because this is my first year decorating for Christmas and this is my first year with a kid, so I've had to buy stuff to like start family traditions and I didn't have any, I had zero decorations. I had to start from scratch and buy all this new stuff to decorate with and I'm super excited we got some stuff for traditions that we'll use and we'll, we'll probably use this for a few years because shit y'all decorations are expensive I was unaware uh, I went into the Dollar Tree the other day to get like stuff to decorate with and I want to do a few DIYs and Ellie's doing a Christmas craft because for Halloween she made a rumpkin plate and she's gonna do something for our family for Christmas spent $68 in the damn Dollar Tree. I was astounded. Look at my highlight. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to get off of here and stop talking and turn off my light and we're on our way to Walmart and I will see you guys when we get there. It'll be fun. So Walmart has this entire little section for pet lovers. They have wrapping paper and stockings and everything for your dogs or cats or whatever. They have big sets of ornaments. I think they were like $35. They have all these cute little makeup kits and foot spas. Some of this stuff was actually super freaking cute. They have, of course, a huge like pamper Dr. Teal like bath bomb section. And then they have Pioneer Woman Christmas Collection, which is definitely not my style, but it is there if that's something you like. They have a bunch of little bath sets for little kids and like some of that stuff would be cool for Ellie. Look how cute that is. I kind of want to get that. It's a Cinnabon roll pancake kit. And then they have like little oven mitts kits with, it comes with like baking mix and a cutting board. And then they also have these really cute mason jars that have chocolate chip cookie mix in them. They're only $5. I've bought these before for like my nurses and stuff. They're so freaking cute and super easy to like wrap and give away. Everyone likes chocolate chip cookies. Here's a like little look over the kids section. They have a bunch of cute Disney ornaments. The Do Good Elf randomly found aloe infused socks. I have a problem with those, man. I'm amazed I didn't get those and then this is like more of a party section it has like the plastic dinnerware and then randomly I saw these gift tag labels they were only a dollar fifty and they're super cute I like neutrals but I don't lean toward gold a lot that's the only reason I didn't get those they have a bunch of like little party favors and stuff if you were to have like a Christmas party or anything like that Look how cute these little wine glasses are. And these were plastic so they wouldn't break. And I got this one that says sipping on Jolly Juice. We're doing a Dirty Santa thing with a few girls from work. And I thought that would be super cute. Cookie cutters. And these have a rubbery side so they're easier to grip. And they won't cut into your fingers and make those little dents that are terrible.
And then of course, Walmart always has a pretty good selection of Christmas zip-up onesies for adults and ugly Christmas sweaters and Christmas pajamas and all of that stuff. I'm looking down because I don't want to film random people. But here is a quick overview. Some of this stuff was super cute and James actually picked out an ugly Christmas sweater that he wanted. I don't know about all that. There's some more rustic-y stuff. Y'all. I love those plates and I don't know why they're totally not my style and then this Christmas tree is glass it's every bit glass and it is like three feet tall it is so freaking cute James told me no because Ellie would break it I'm trying to hint at my family that I want one of these freaking KitchenAid mixers I want one so bad but um, the the Walmart actually had the Walmart actually has these super cute cookie plates for Santa and little mugs that you can paint, and they're really really cute. But I do still like my little set I got from Burks more. They have these cute Let It Snow placemats and a coordinating runner right here. So freaking cute! So freaking cute! They also, I've seen a lot of buffalo plaid check this year. I don't really know why. I guess it's the new farmhouse thing. Look at their little bath towels and soap dispensers. They even have like a little bath mat. It's so freaking cute. And now we're getting more into the Christmas tree decorations. And this is pretty much all farmhouse. These cute little votive holders were adorable. They just have a little reindeer head on them. They had red and silver. They almost look like mercury glass. They have tabletop reindeers. A lot of this, though, was, of course, farmhouse. And because I couldn't find stocking hangers, I actually ended up purchasing this. It's so cute. I'm going to put it somewhere to hang our stockings off of. I think it's $15, $14.99 or something like that. There's that freaking red pickup truck. I don't understand the thing with the red pickup truck. And then I come up to it here in a minute. This like glittery reindeer head. I thought it was like a wall mount because I've actually been wanting one of those for a few years. And it's a tree topper. So if you want to like start a new trend and start putting reindeer head on top of your tree, Walmart's got you covered. They just have a bunch of cute little knickknacks, welcome signs, all sorts of cute like little felt soft and squishy things. There's my whole little family. James is talking about something <laughs> or telling Ellie to stop grabbing something. I don't even know what. And then there are more of these big giant ornament sets for $24.98. None of those were my color scheme. They have a bunch of cute wreaths and these little signs, I think they're like $5, are so freaking cute. I freaking love those. And then this, behind it, the ho ho ho, I freaking love it. I freaking love it. I would have bought it, but I don't really know where I would have put it. And then, of course, they have little colored ornament sets here and a giant bin of huge stuffed animals. I was really trying to convince James to let me get Ellie this giant flamingo. I don't know how y'all's Walmart is set up, but my little lawn and garden center turns into Christmas tree land. And I didn't want to go back there because it was cold and I've already purchased my Christmas tree. You guys will see it in my Christmas decor haul. We're going down the little wrapping paper and back aisle and they kind of have these separated by color schemes. There's like a whole freaking section of blue wrapping paper and then they have more colorful kids stuff, all of their little name tags and gift card holders. And then of course they always have a bunch of Christmas cards, but I'm going to let you know right now, hit your Dollar Tree up for your Christmas cards if y'all are people that do those. We don't decorate outside because we live so far off of the road, but I just wanted to do an overview of some of their outdoorsy stuff. All of their little gift boxes. So freaking cute. And then lots of wrapping paper and ribbon for a dollar, y'all. 97 cents a piece. Go check it out. And then I found this gift trim that is like velvety and it says ho ho ho. And I believe, yeah, it's $1.48. That was super cute. And they also have, like, yarn and twine and things like that. I didn't end up purchasing it because I already have a ridiculous amount of wrapping paper, ribbon, and gift tags, and bows, and all of that. 
I kind of want to go with a candy cane theme. In the past, when I wrap my presents for my family, I've always went with like a red, white, silver, and black theme, and I had the hardest time finding black wrapping paper, and now it's like freaking everywhere. I'm so mad because now I'm going to do a more kid-friendly Christmas. They have some of these big bows, and then I found one even bigger. Ellie has two big Christmas gifts coming her way that I'm not going to wrap. I'm just going to slap a bow on it and call it a day. They also have the big bundles of curling ribbing, curling ribbon, <laughs> and if you're wondering why I'm zoned out, I'm trying to reach one of the giant bows. You'll see it in like two seconds, I'm pretty sure. Here we go. Maybe. Here we go. Maybe. What is wrong with me? Big bow coming into the cart, and our cart is so freaking full because we had to get groceries as well. I'm just pointing out all of this black wrapping paper that I could never find. I'm really upset about it because now I have a kid. Now I feel like I have to do like kid friendly things. So the thing with this bag, <laughs> it just says oh dear and has a reindeer on it but Ellie actually got a shirt that says like oh dear or something like that with a reindeer for Christmas and we're definitely going to put it in that bag. James and I decided it was worth that pun. <laughs> They have, of course, these little wrapping paper sets. Here are some outdoor sign and steak situations. These were like $5, I believe. Some of these are super cute, and some of them, most of them, are farmhouse, of course. And now we're into more of the christmas tree decorating side one side of this aisle was like wreaths and the other side were like christmas tree bows and like little knickknack and decorations and all of the little picks for your christmas tree i pretty much have all of my ornaments and decorations i think for my tree i don't know honestly i've never decorated a tree of my own my mom's always told me like you know like what we were doing so there's another one of those tree topper reindeer heads that one is gold the first one was silver and then i was really thinking about getting one of these stocking monogram letters for each of us but my family has always made our stockings like bought a cheap stocking and like wrote our names on it and customized it that's what we're gonna stick to more cute stockings a few tree skirts and then if you are a christmas village person walmart has the hookup they have the hookup. And then I was really thinking about these trees, but they were like bendy. Like you could bend them and turn them sideways and everything else. And they were super glittery and getting glittery. Glittery pieces of glitter everywhere. Glitter explosion. like decorating your tree with like oversized ornaments or something like that Walmart has um, all of their single ornaments organized by color and then I was looking at this EMT paramedic ornament for my brother and then I realized he hates holidays too and he doesn't decorate a tree so skip that I'm gonna stop talking quite as much I feel like I'm just rambling and I'm just gonna show you some of the fun things I found and then probably a video or two after this will be my Christmas decor haul and I hope you guys enjoy it. Look, a whole section of red and black. I was pissed. like how I said I was going to stop talking right at the end of the video. 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.